Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us for our Made at Home series with the University of Georgia Family and Consumer Sciences agents from across the state. My name is Christina Garner and I'm the Stewart County Family and Consumer Sciences agent. Today I will be joining Becca Stackhouse and Candace Tucker to bring you some research-based nutritional information and recipes about fruits and vegetables that are currently in season. Today we're going to be starting off with some basic nutritional information about apples followed by Candace, who will dive a little bit deeper into the nutritional information, and end with Becca sharing a delicious apple recipe. So some basic nutrition about apples. Apples are fat-free, saturated fat-free, and a good source of fiber. They're also low in sodium and high in potassium. Continuing on with the nutrition benefits of apples. Um, apples are high in vitamin C, and that actually comes from the apple skin. Almost half the amount of vitamin C in an apple comes from just underneath the skin of the apple. They are also a good source of fiber, and they have antioxidants. Some fun facts about apples. There are over 2,500 varieties found in the United States. Apple trees take four to five years to produce their first fruit. And oftentimes, even when that first fruit is produced, it's not a very big um, blessing of apples. The average person eats 65 apples a year. Now, apples are one of my favorites, so I know I eat probably more than 65 apples, but the average person eats 65. Well, thanks so much, and now I'm going to pass it over to Candace to dive a little bit deeper into the nutritional information. Thank you, Christina, and hello, everyone. My name is Candace Tucker, and I am the Family and Consumer Sciences agent in Coweta County. If you're a diabetic, you may be wondering how do fruits and vegetables affect your diabetes? Well, the good news is, is that all fruits and vegetables are good for you in moderation. So this week, let us take a look at apples. There are about 25 grams of carbohydrates and four grams of fiber in a medium sized apple and fiber helps slow the absorption of sugars in your body, which could in turn help prevent spikes in your blood sugar. Apples make a great snack, or you can pair them with a healthy fat or protein that can also lower the spike in your blood sugar and also help you feel full longer. To get more fiber out of your apple, try eating it with the skin on. And now I'm going to hand it over to Becca, who is going to demonstrate a delicious recipe using apples. Hi guys, and welcome to this episode of Made at Home. Thank you, Candace and Christina, for giving us some great information on apples. So apples are in season, and if you are in the right parts of Georgia, definitely delicious right off that tree. But we are going to be talking about a recipe and I just decided to take it simple with this recipe because you can do a vast majority of things. So I've already got some chopped up in our crock pot and then I'm going to take the apple and really we're just pouring it away. So it doesn't particularly matter how you cut the apple. It can be cut in any way, any form. If you would like the skin, you can take it off, but the skin is what's going to give you some of your fiber and some of your important things that come from apples come from their skin. So the way we're going to do this applesauce, I'd leave it on. You won't even know it exists in it. So we're making applesauce. And so instead of buying a jar of applesauce, this is one way you can really control what you put in your applesauce. So if you're talking about diabetes, you really just have to worry about the way you count an apple, not anything else. It's just going to be in a different form than eating it as an apple. So we're going to put these apples in our crock pot. 
pot. And then the spices we're going to add. Whoop. We're going to add cinnamon and we're going to add salt. Both on our recipe are just to taste. So if you see the cinnamon going in here, then you kind of see a lot. But if you know me, you know that that really is a very little amount of cinnamon. But let me grab some water for us to add to. So we need a half a cup of water to add to it. But remember that these apples are going to produce a good bit of water as they go along. So you can watch it as it cooks. Turn your crock pot on and you are ready for some applesauce. So we'll tune in as the applesauce finishes cooking and see how it's coming along. So we're back to check on those apples. Our apples have cooked for about five hours now and they cooked in a crock pot. And I like doing it in a crock pot because then it's just done when it's done and I don't have to watch it closely. So I'm going to use an immerser. You could use a blender. You can use all kinds of different things to get your uh, apples mashed up. So we're going to do that. control those ingredients, control those added things that you're putting in to your consumption of food and to your diet. It allows you to, for diabetes, limit that sugar and only be eating the natural sugars that come. So make sure that you tag along and if you make some, share it in the comments with us. Let us know how you like it. And applesauce, once you've made it, you can make it and then you can use it in your baking. What a great way to use it. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Made at Home.